God, dude, oh, is yeah. it his head? Oh my God! What is that? <laughs> So this lake trout trip was something that we've had planned for a long time. Lake trout have been on my bucket list for literally as long as I could remember, and I had no idea that they were this close to me. We headed down that night, and we basically were just gonna drive down, get in our little Airbnb, and wake up that next morning, and we didn't know what we were in for. All right, so day one, we're up at the butt crack of dawn. Marlon was grouchy as hell, his allergies were kicking in. I don't know if I've ever been so excited to go fish a lake in my life. These fish, like you grow up kind of looking at pictures of them and seeing just how fat and massive and big they are. And it's a trout and it's just kind of mind blowing. So it's just always been something that's on my bucket list. So when we woke up that morning, I was so freaking excited and didn't really know what to expect. Talk about what we're doing today and introduce yourself. Todd Logan with Todd Logan's Guide Service. Uh, we're gonna go out and get some trophy lake trout today. Big, fat, giant lake trout. We're gonna drop some links in the description if you guys wanna check out Todd's Guide Service so you can get out here and do it yourself. But I'm excited. You think we're gonna catch some? We're hoping to break that new state record. Ooh. What if? What Every if? time you feel a thump, it could be a 40 pound fish. It could That's be. what I was saying yesterday. I was like, the state record is 32, correct? Uh, 42. 42, I mean. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll be fine with 47. I don't, 40, yeah. I don't yeah. need all 50. So this is going to be a, a three-day series. We're going to be fishing a couple lakes here while we're doing it. We got Todd's buddy here. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Alex. Alex, Todd's buddy. So we're going to run two boats, chase around. We're basically hunting these things. It's kind of how you describe it, right? With the electronics that we have, you know, we're marking those fish. We're targeting specific fish. We're looking for for the marks that we want. You know, it tells us they are an adult fish, which is a trophy class. Sweet. All right, addicts, let's go get some. We split up and kind of divide and conquer, and we find out as soon as we get in the boats that this fishing is going to end up being a lot more fun than what we realized. Right here, they're on that, they're on that ball. They're on that ball of kokanee. Drop down to 150. You have one right there, 127. So give me 127, and then I want you to jig it down to 150. You have three fish stacked up underneath this ball. So Todd starts explaining to us that the way we actually catch these fish and we we find these fish is we're hunting them. You know, any sort of visual fishing, top water or or you know, sight fishing, dry flies or anything like that for any kind of fish across the planet is in my mind probably the most exciting thing that you can do in fishing, being able to have that visual you know, connection with that fish and that experience and, and what's happening uh, as far as when that fish is going to attack. You were staring at the screen, watching your jig go down, and then watching the reaction of the fish to your presentation. So every single fish we caught during the day, we were learning something new. Are you marking Max, Todd? Yeah. You are? Yeah. As soon as I dumped my troll motor in, we dropped right on three. Oh. There's a big ball of kokanee right out here. Todd got stripped, boys. Going, going to 150. God, he's just all over 150 right there. Yeah. There's two fish there. Come on, bite it, big daddy. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, everybody. See those marks on the screen? All those big, long marks there. Those are all big lake trout feeding on those kokanee balls. It's pretty cool what this hummingbird picks up. <laughs> so I dropped her down to 60 feet. 62. What did you say there might be at 70? Yeah, between like 65 to 70. Pretty much how we target these, these trophy fish is what we do is we hunt around with the, with the trolling motor until we see a fish. And right here's a good mark. And so, you know, it tells us he's probably about 107. Drop it down a little bit and see if he... Oh yeah, I dropped it fast and it looked like he... See that? Yeah. Almost looked like he chased it. You can see my stub all over right by his face. Just eat. You still got him on yours? Yeah. Yeah. Are you running right down there at 80? Yep. Yeah. So see, just like we told you guys at the beginning of this, Addicts, this is truly is like you're hunting. You're searching, you're going around. Not every fish is gonna bite. You're just, you're doing everything you can to try to get one that wants to bite. So you just gotta keep moving and finding a fish until one of them wants to play. Imagine how people caught these before there was electronics. Yeah, it's just blind. Yeah. You know, I mean, it really was just blind. Nice. Wow. Is mine good? Dude, this thing is huge. I can't even get him off the bottom yet. Look at that. He's still taking mine. Look at 
Look at this. Is he right on the bottom he, still? I have not moved him. He's still taking line. What, what's your line counter at? 70. Oh, yeah, you can see him right here, Sean. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can see him on my graph. And then about 60 feet. If you can just let him kind of hang out at 60, and we'll wait till bubbles come up. That way he won't barrel trauma out. Right yeah. He's, oh, there's the bubbles. Yep, that's exactly what we want right there. How big yeah. do you think he is, Todd? About 12 pounds, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a 12 pounder, he says. Oh my god, that is the coolest fish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Got it, Dude. Widow! Yeah! Wow, they're so leathery. Wow, look at this thing. Yeah, he's about 12 pounds. See you later, dude. Thank you, buddy. Look at him. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. Thank you, guys. Here we got one. One at 75, one at about 65, coming up for my bait right now. Oh my god, he's following my bait up, dude. Look at that, look at that, everybody. Let's drop down below him, let's see if he follows it. Got him. Oh my god, he let it go. Oh, he let it go, he let it go. Oh my god. Oh my god, so you can see how all this went down. I set you guys down and he followed it all the way to the boat. Grabbed it. I watched him swim up to the boat and grab it. Oh my god, this is freaking insane, you guys. These fish are on a feeding. Did one follow it up, Jordan? He hit it at the boat, dude. I only put the camera down to reel, and it came up. I, like, I was reeling and I watched him like, come out of nowhere, grab it, and then go straight down with it. They're here and they are biting. Dude, we're on about, we're on about eight fish right here. Got him. There he is. Got him. Dude, you definitely can feel him crush it. Even at 120 feet, like I felt him just nail it. Oh, there he goes, Sean. He's running. You want me to hang him down there for a little? Yeah, where, where you at? 50. 50, yeah. Let's see if we can get him to burp here. Bubbles. Yeah, I just saw a ton of bubbles right yeah. there. Little man, lost the fight though. Yep. Dives right to the bottom. Oh yeah. So one of the goals of this whole trip was to try to catch a monster. Like we, me and Jordan both wanted to catch a fish that was just like massive. And Todd had told us that it, we were to a point where we potentially might be catching the state record. The state record could live in this in in this lake or this lake or this lake. He was telling us that some of these lakes could have the state record. So we're in Central Oregon. It's in Oregon State. We're fishing some of those lakes around that area that have lake trout. And so we were hunting for it. We were on the hunt for a big one for a state record. So I'm not going to say it was like super competitive out there between the two boats, but you know, we uh, there was definitely a, a you know a taste in the air of, of competition uh, between Alex and Todd out there because. You know, they're, it's their big day. We got the film crew there. We got, you know, me and Marlon and, and Sean are out there and we're trying to get this good video for him. And, uh, and what do you know, lo and behold, I dropped down and unexpected, you know, I think we'd already landed a couple fish by now. You know, we put a couple on the board. We were feeling good. We were starting to get some bites. We were searching around for them. And I dropped down with, a, you know, with a bait and, uh, watch this fish come up off the screen and all of a sudden my rod just loads up. I did exactly what Todd told me. I did, I just reeled down as fast as I could and yep. as soon as I felt it was heavy, I hammered. Exactly. Look at what happened there. That was the fish coming off the bottom for my bait. You can see the big mark is where he grabbed it and then the rest is the fight. So that is so, so epic. Cool. About 15 pounder. I, I really can't tell. He feels super heavy, but after that last one. When I first hooked this fish, I couldn't really tell how big it was. I knew it was big, but every single one of these fish that we hooked on the first run, they take off and, you know, they go straight down to the bottom 200 feet. And there's really no telling on how big these fish are. And I'm holding on to this fish and he starts coming up to me too quickly. Oh my God. 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 Oh my god! 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 Oh my
Oh my God! What is that? <laughs> so when Jordan hooks this monster, we end up like picking everything up and going over there to look at this fish so we could use the landing net and get this thing on the scale. Giant, I mean the belly on this thing looked crazy. It looked like the thing had eaten 100 kokanee in the last 10 minutes, that's how big it was. Oh my God, dude. Holy we might want to put that one in the in the cradle and wave. Oh my goodness. Oh, that one might Freaking. you might make 20. That's a good fish, Jordan. Look at the belly on that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That's only like one, two, three. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Jordan. Yep. Okay. Oh ho ho. Twenty-seven points five. Twenty-seven points five. Oh god! I'm gonna so set it back in the water here. Net, you're at twenty-five. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right here, okay. Oh my. Oh. Just hold him like this. Yep. Let him go. Okay. That was so awesome, you guys. The whole experience. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you so much, Todd. So what we're doing now is that belt, that I, as I was fighting it, that fish came up to the surface too quickly. So it didn't get a chance to burp and get all that air out of its belly coming up from 150 feet. So Todd's hooking the ball he normally had is too small, so he's hooking the descending device. He's gonna send that fish down to about 50 feet or 100 feet and just let it sit there until he burps that air out of his stomach due to the pressure and then he's going to turn away and just swim off of this little hook that they have in their mouth so it's really important so you don't kill these fish and so you just lower it down right you see him taking off right there so now i'll stop it za success man yeah buddy <laughs> god that was cool these are smart big predatory fish and to be able to within the first two hours of being out there on this lake with these guys land one of the trophy fish of the year um, i couldn't have been more proud and like more humbled by the whole thing you know with the the help of good friends and and just having a positive attitude out there you know going out there to have fun and, and just try to catch fish uh and you know it always happens when you least expect it i feel like oh i think he's coming for it he's back on the graph so what I'm doing here, you guys, of course, obviously you already know the tactic we're using of hunting, but I'm imagining in my mind like what a, a wounded fish would look like. And instead of just really jigging really fast and going straight up and down, I'm doing, going really up. There he is. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe it is one, it's just small. I don't know, it feels extra heavy. He's still down there though. But anyways, my jigging technique, as you guys saw, is kind of, oh, he's coming up for you, man. Look at that bait ball. Yeah. Look at that. You can almost count all the fish. Got him, got him. Got him, pitch on, pitch on, pitch on. <laughs> ah, dang it. Yeah, he's gone. Oh. Well, the clock has struck 11. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out here and the bite has really died off. Todd and Marlin headed off to a couple different holes in the lake and we are just hunting fish and the last few of them that we've grabbed, we dropped down to them and they either ran straight back down to the bottom or they followed us, followed us and then disappeared. Just going to different depths and hunting these fish. Hopefully we hear from Todd and Marlin and, and they get into a nice big one, but I've switched to some metal jigs off of the bait because the bait seemed to be spooking them, but it seems like they've gotten a little bit finicky. There's still a lot of fish throwing themselves, especially up off the bottom. So just keep trying. Is there one up above him? That That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's coming down. What a fun way to fish, addicts. You get to sit here and watch these suckers on the screen and just try to try to entice them to bite. How is he not just wanting? I don't know. I mean, it's the, they're all over him. It's the this one's just not wanting to eat. We'll give him another couple couple seconds here, and then you'll find one that does. Well, it almost looks like he's kind of disappeared now. Is he still there? He's just not wanting to bite. Yeah, he ain't having it. He is not having it. 
So on day one, one, one other goal that we had is we wanted to catch a fish that we could keep. Todd had said that like anywhere between that 20 to 30 inch range is okay to keep. They get up to that 20 and 30 inch range in a fast manner, but then after 30 inches, they only grow a small increment every single year after 30 inches. And so that's what we did. We ended up catching one close to the end of the day that was around 28 inches. And we bonked it and we went and did a catch and cook with this thing. If you guys wanna see the full video, we'll make sure we have a link down below so you guys can check out that catch and cook. There he is. Got him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, baby. Oh, that felt good. Look at all that disturbance after I hooked him. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Look at the screen down there, Sean. It's huge. It is a nice one. It's not really, really huge, but I would have been freaking out about this. Oh, wow. We'll call her a hen because it's Mother's Day. Just a freaking specimen. Well, we're gonna do a little, might do a little catch and cook for you guys. So we're gonna do 29 and and 29 and 7 eighths. 29 7 eighths. 29? 29 7 eighths. Okay, let's keep it. All right. All right, guys. That one's gonna be dinner. That's a perfect eater size. What's the slot limit he likes to keep? Under 30. Under 30. Anything over 30, and let him go. Look out, little. Let him go and grow. Woo! Just a freaking perfect fish. Oh, one just came up to you. See him right there? Yep. He just darted up. Oh, there he is. Came up to you. Oh, no, 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 no. Lost him. How? Yeah. How? Come on. There he is. Right there he is. Oh my. See him eat that? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Here you go, Sean. That's a nice fish. Where's he at, Sean? Did you see him take that? Yeah. Dude, he just chomped it. What do you got there, dude? It's a monster. He's in the depths. Oh, he's he's burping right now. Yeah, oh, that's a right big there. one. That's a good fish, buddy. Whoa. Yep, just hold it. Jesus. That's a good fish. <laughs> it's a big one. So cool. All right, well, here's Jordan sitting here all relaxed after reeling in all these big fish. Are your arms tired, buddy? I'm starting to develop a little carpal tunnel. <laughs> a little carpal tunnel from the jigging. <laughs> that was an epic day, though, man. That was a really epic I wasn't day. Really, I was expecting to catch some fish, but like, we both did pretty well. You know, four fun. landed in each boat. Yep. We had quite a few opportunities. They were eating our bait pretty good, but got them on the jigs, got them on the giant jigs, got them on bait. Caught them on everything. In the morning, it was good. They seemed like they were just bitey. Yeah, we rolled across to that other side of the lake, and it was instant. Just boop, 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 boop. Yep. So. I really hope you that everyone out there watching enjoyed that. If you do like these videos or you're liking these, make sure you smash that thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe, turn on that bell notification because this is only part one of a three-part series of us traveling over here to this little area and chasing these big-ass fish. We are going to go to a new lake tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get prepped tonight. We're going to pull the boats out tonight, move locations, go back to the hotel, maybe go do a little more fishing this evening. Who knows? All right, guys. <laughs>